Okay, so today we're going to learn how to divide by 10 patterns from multi-digit whole number division. 10 patterns is different than patterns of 10. Um, not really for any particular reason other than you're counting in a specific times table and then multiplying those numbers by 10. Okay, so let's just take a second and count by threes. So recite the three times table. Three, six, nine, twelve. Keep going until you get to 36. So hit pause. Okay, now you've done that and you're back. So what I want you to do is count the three times table by multiples of 10. So it would be three tens, six tens, nine tens, twelve tens. So if you get to that point and you have twelve tens, and you go all the way to the end of the three times table, and you have thirty-six tens, that would be where you would end for the multiples of 10 for our purposes. Okay, we're back here with the multiples of 10. So if you were to look at these numbers in standard form, what would they look like? Well, three tens would be 30, six tens would be 60, 12 tens would be 120, and 36 tens would be 360. So does everybody understand that? I basically took the three times table, counted the three times table as multiples of 10, and then I put them in unit form, and then I turned them into standard form. Okay, so that's what we're doing in this lesson. So our next problem, Whoop, is to take this word problem here and figure it out. So we have the area of a vegetable garden is, and we know that we need to do this, 200 square feet. That's the total. The width is 10 feet. We need to know that. So if we drew this, oh, I don't want to do that. Nope. If we drew it and we said, here is our garden, kind of dis disproportionate, but still just the same. Okay. So we have 200 feet. total, right? Whoa, that is crazy looking. Okay, and then the width would be 10 feet. So our big question mark is here. What's the length? So we know that the formula for area is area equals length, whoop, sorry, length times width. So if we put in our numbers, we would put in 200 equals, we don't know, times 10. Okay, does that make sense to everybody so far? It should. So take a second and see if you could figure out what the question mark would be. Okay, and then we're gonna move on from here. Okay, so here we have it. So we're plugging in our numbers and our unit of measurement is feet. So we need to remember that. We're working with feet. Okay. 
So if we were to take the 200 as a multiple of 10 in the 10 pattern, what would we do here? We would divide it by 10, okay? So 200 divided by 10 would be 20 divided by 10 would equal 200. So it's really 20 tens, correct? Does everybody see that? 200 is the same thing as saying 20 tens. 200 is the same thing as 20 tens. Okay, so if we have that information, we can just look at our problem and notice something. Here is a 10 and here is a 10. We need to know what this number is. So what's left here? The 20, correct? So 200 square feet, oops, sorry, square feet equals 20 feet times 10 feet. So our missing number is 20. Now if we were to do a tape diagram, which I know you guys love, you can do it like this. If you have uh, I should have done that to begin with, right? That's a lot easier. If you have your, you know the whole thing is 200, whoops, sorry, is 200, right? Square feet. And then you know that one piece of it is 20, I mean 10, sorry, 10 feet, you're looking for this. So that's how you would do it if you're doing tape diagramming. So you would be looking for this little piece here. Okay, so let's go on. So here are our next couple of problems. So. 420 divided by 10 is the same as saying 42 tens divided by 10. So you would take out the 10 basically and end up with 42. It's pretty easy, right? Next we have 1,600 divided by 100. Well, if we broke them up into hundreds, we would say 1,600 is 16 hundreds. 100 is 100. Now we're dividing by the same unit. So the hundreds would kind of cancel each other out and we would be left with 16. Okay, so the next one is a little bit different. The next one is saying 24,000 divided by 600. So what we did here is we broke up the problem into the 600 became 100 and 6 because we split that up because we want the same units. So now we're dealing with multiples of 10, okay? So when we're dealing with multiples of 10, it becomes easier when we divide by 100 because two. 24,000 divided by 100 is 240 because we're dividing by multiples of 10, which we learned when we did exponents, right? So we're left with this. We're left with 240 divided by 6. And what we need to do here is then think about what we have in terms of multiples of 10 and we can take the 
240 and break it up into 24 and 10 divided by 6. These are called number bonds. Okay, so they're 240, it's like the factors, it's like factor trees. So 240 times 10, I mean divided by 10 is 24 times 10 divided by 6. So if we did this, we would say what is 24 divided by 6, and the answer is 4. But we still have this 10 to deal with, so he just comes down here because we can't leave them out. So 24 divided by 6 is 4, and then you need to keep your 10. You need to keep that unit place. So it's 40 in the end. Okay, so you're breaking it down. 24,000 divided by 600 becomes 24,000 divided by 100 divided by 6, which gets broken down into 240 divided by 6 because this cancels out. And we break this into 24 and 10, and then we could divide 24 by 6. We get 4, and we put back the unit place of 10. Okay? And lastly, we'll do this one, 189,000 divided by 9,000. So that would look like 189,000 divided by 9,000 equals. And of course, I didn't put the division sign in there because there is none in the typewriter. So there you go. So when we're doing 10 patterns, we're going to divide this. We're going to say 189,000s divided by 9, hey. Nine thousand, sorry. Okay, so here we have that. Oh, brother. Okay, so there we go, right? So an easier way to think of it is like this. So the thousands cancel out, and now you have 189 divided by... 9. You need to do long division. 189 divided by 9. Okay, so let's go quick. Can we divide 1 by 9? No. 18 by 9? Yes. How many times? 2. 2 times 9 is 18. Subtract is 0. Bring down the 9. Can I divide 9 by 9? Yes. How many times? 1. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract. Bring down the answer is 0. So my answer is 21. So 189,000 divided by 9,000 is 21. That's our answer.